Hello, I'm Rachel Mulholland in Psychology and Allied Health Sciences and I'm going to chat to you about the usefulness of feedback both for lecture and staff and for students. And this is in a more traditional type of module situation where you have lectures, essays and exams at the end of the module. And following the module, my students fed back to me that they used to take a module that ran from level two into level three and they said, Rachel, I'm working really hard. Why am I still only getting in the 50s? I really don't understand what's happening. I'm doing the reading. I'm trying to reference it. I'm trying to structure it. Please, can you help me? And I was studying the PG cert and learning and teaching at the time and looking at feedback processes. And I thought, well, why don't I introduce a feedback lecture, kind of introducing them to a midterm lecture in the module, as well as introducing a seminar where they actually mark pieces of work from the previous year's students, obviously suitably anonymized and made confidential. And what I did was take bits of work that fell into the bad fields, close fail to pass, just passing then into the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. So again, I'm showing them the positive and the negative, being aware that we have students from all the broad range of ability. And what I find is the students find using the criteria that we use to mark essays and exams, they said that they began to understand why they were failing. And in fact, when they marked as a group in the seminar series, they would say, Rachel, we seem to be marking harder than you, but we can see therefore that you're being firm and fair when you're giving a 48 versus a 50, a 58 versus a 60. And for one particular student, I remember her saying, I now understand my structure, the way the essay flows, the way I'm presenting this information to the reader isn't showing you how much I understand, how much I've read, and also I'm purely referencing this, which is losing me marks. And that student in particular stands in my head because she went from a 50s to ending up getting a first class honours in her degree. So that's what I find useful. And it took a little time for me as a lecturer to think, will I listen to the feedback from students because we kind of think, oh, I'm doing everything perfectly, but isn't necessarily the case. And I would say that I'm still changing that in the module now. I have a couple of seminars. I also use it for exams as well as the seminar on the essays. So I'm trying to use the feedback to help them think, how do we handle this module? And it's very useful for me and it's hopefully useful for the students.